Hey, it's Sandy. This is the Food 2.5 Kitchen. You guys know that. But this is the official post for our year-end contest. This is what we're going to do. I want you guys to do two things for me. One, if you have a picture of any dish that you have loved, like you have loved the way it looked or you love the way it tasted or you just love the way it came out, um, post that picture. You can give us a little bit of background on it too. I'd love to hear the story behind it. You know, just a couple of sentences. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to ask you to do is look at what your friends put up there, what your, what your other, you know, club members put up there and leave your comments for them. Tell them what you like about it. Give them some like, give them some love because this is about supporting each other. So here's the thing. What I really want you to do is plate a dish, plate it like it means so much to you. And I think that does two things for you. One, it respects the food. It respects everyone who went into the process to get that food to the plate. The farmer, the rancher, the cook, everyone along the way that, that was a part of that. And I think it pays a really nice respect to them. But I think it also does another thing for you. It tells your brain that you respect you um, and you respect the food that you're putting in it. So go ahead make a cool plate, take a picture of it and post it for us. Now I get tons of pictures all the time from people and I get some really cool goblets filled with green smoothie or beautiful plates of um, spectacular food. Um, I saw a cool one. I'm going to look at my, my phone real quick. Look at this one. That's from Betty Rubble. I hope she doesn't mind that I'm showing you this, but this was her holiday celebration. Whoops, right there. She did the white chocolate stuffed raspberries and she put them in, in these beautiful antique teacups. I'd love to know the story behind this, but isn't that cool? So here's what we're going to do if you do that. Um, we're going to look at all the pictures. And now when I say we, I don't mean me. I mean um, the admins for this group, Carla, John, Sharon, and Shannon. We're going to take a look at all the pictures and we're going to figure out um, what, um, you know, what each one means to you. And we're going to leave you commentary too, because that's just what we do. But we're going to judge them based on three different things. Okay. And I'm going to give out prizes. Okay. Let's talk about prizes first. I'm going to give out the new spices that I'm going to start using, um, in January. So I'm really excited about this because you'll get a sneak preview of what's, what's coming down the pike. I've got some very cool spices, um, picked out, but we're going to look for, um, three things. We're going to look for one, the most creative. Did you use the antique teacup to plate it up? It was very cool. Um, did you do something really fun with it? Now remember, you can um, you can plate things very cool on a you know in a beautiful goblet. Or I've seen some really cool food on paper plates. So don't feel like this has to be highbrow. Um, the next um, winner is going to be the most enticing. I want to give a prize to the person that makes me want to slurp down to the bottom of the plate. That food looks so good, right? Because that's really what this is about. And then the third is going to be the most heartwarming. Like who's got that story? Who's got the best story of their food? You know, is it a, a dish they remember making with their grandmother? Or did they um, have a fabulous event with a friend one time and um, and they giggled over over the, you know, the tragedy of a, of a dish? Um, or did the cat try and make off with it one time? So you you tell us a little bit about the story, and we're gonna um, we're gonna take a look at at that because I think again that's just as important as the food on the plate and the plate that it's sitting on. So here's what you do: right down below here, post your pictures, tell us a little bit about it, and tell your friends how much you like theirs. All right, and we're gonna announce the winners on January third. Have a great holiday. Have some fun. I cannot wait to see those pictures. Mwah. Talk to you soon.